Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Of Ash and Dust. We have a couple of things to take care of in today's episode, but I think if everything goes correctly, um, which it should, this is going to be the finale. One thing that people are demanding, the people want it, is that I kill Kalamit. So I had to look up where the crest key is. I, I, I had to do it. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this. I leveled myself enough to get this Eye of Flame spell. Uh, underwhelming would be the descriptor I would use. I mean, it's cool. Okay, this is what it does. It's like this kind of like Wrath of the Gods style uh, blast. The good thing is you have armor while you're doing it, so... That's at least a thing. However, the problem is that it's way slower than Rattled Gods. And it also seems to have shorter range. Which is a little bit weird that it has both. Oh yeah! Hold on a second. This is why I can't see properly. Because I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. Alright, things are gonna be much better right here. Um, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Much better. You see, the thing is, like, I can't see far properly, but it's not, like, it's not terrible. Uh, so I can, like, manage even if I don't have my glasses. I can even, like, drive and all that. I'm not, like, blind as a bat, but just more comfortable. I'm recording this on Thursday, by the way. So we have the four-day Easter weekend, which should be fun. I should rest, shouldn't I? Because whenever I don't rest at a bonfire, I always somehow end up dying. And this is going to be our place anyways. So yeah, Easter weekend. Hopefully I can finally start the Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I was going to start it yesterday, but uh, things just came up. Uh, because it was the last day and I, I took today off from work. I had to like finish up a few things. Plus... Oh fuck. See? This is what I'm talking about. I almost got killed there. Um, plus... Today morning, I actually got vaccinated, first round anyways, against COVID, which is actually really, really fucking good. Uh, and I wasn't expecting it at all. It just kind of an opportunity came up because of like people refusing their shots. And basically my dad was called in and he asked whether they have spares for the whole family. And they were like, sure, yeah, come in. So yeah, I got vaccinated, so I had to like fill out paperwork and all that before you could go and it was kind of a chaotic day. Unlike today, which was a fucking brilliant day because, listen, in three weeks, once I get my second dose, I will be fully protected and I can go out, finally. Of course, nobody else can go out yet, but... We're almost there. We're almost there. So, like, I'm very, very happy, believe me. Because, obviously, like, I'm most likely not at risk. Because I'm young. I have, like, no major diseases. No big health issues and all that. But I still don't want to get it, you know. And now this is it. And now I can fully avoid it. I had to look this up, by the way, if I haven't said it yet. Uh, only a couple of keys shift in terms of locations, and this was one of them. So... It's all good, though. It's a weird place, too. Like, I, I wouldn't have thought to look on that roof. I did go on that roof when roof 
roof roof I did go on that roof when I was uh, coming over here but I just dropped off so yeah we mainly need this for Calamito Mr. Calamito <laughs> shit <laughs> I, I closed the door it's because we're gonna have sex don't want interruptions Yoda Okay, I'm gonna we like his dialogue doesn't change. Should I buy a couple of homeward bones? Fuck it. Why not right? The carvings uh, Goff is the biggest life coach of Dark Souls. Uh, nobody can convince me otherwise. Like this dude is straight up like a TikTok motivational speaker or something. Or Instagram motivational speaker. Uh, just the same thing because do those dudes cross post like hell. Oh, the worst ones, like, the worst ones are those entrepreneur ones. God. There's one thing I could get rid of in life. Did she just say... <laughs> Is that what she always says? <laughs> I forgive you for being human. Listen, bitch. I already killed your ghost form, so don't even think about pulling any shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is one of those episodes I can already tell where just like weird shit keeps happening. And I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah! If there's one thing I could get rid of in this life, it would be goddamn entrepreneur Instagram slash TikTok pages. God, I hate them. God, I hate them. And they all give you like the most useless, like nondescript shitty advice. I don't like him. I don't like him. Believe me, no one has ever become an entrepreneur after watching one of these videos. Like, I mean, like using advice from those videos. Because they don't tell you jack shit. Because some idiots on Reddit can just like jack up the stock prices of uh, GameStop and then pretty much all the advice those dudes have ever given just flies out the window. Good old Calumet. Kalashmeet. I think this shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I doubt this is gonna have a twist. I wonder if Gwen is gonna have a twist. That's like... That's like gonna be the real... Like the real... Oh... I have a I think I know what it's gonna be if I had to guess I bet you're not gonna be able to parry him right I'm almost willing to bend money that that's what's gonna be the kind of situation here because you fly in there thinking of parrying him and nope you know what I'm thinking of though did I compl I did complete Solaire's quest line, didn't I? Um, I think so. Cool. Sorry about skipping the dialogue. You know, like we've all heard this a million times. But the cutscene, though, I sure as shit ain't skipping that. Oh, 
I already killed your ghost form as well. Blast him. Such a cool cutscene. Cool, thanks. Thanks for having my back. Anyways, let's go ahead and fight the callum the calumet. I'm like curious, I think this is gonna I'm gonna do good damage here, cuz I just I just have a feeling, you know. So yeah, and we'll see about Gwen. I would like to very much summon... Okay, something is dead. I would very much like to summon uh, Solaire. If possible. But I do not remember if I... Because he shows up at the place where he would normally be possessed by the bug. Even if you don't I mean even if you kill the bug right oh, fuck this is not a good place to start doubting yourself you know especially because since the like the way um, things are in this game ie with warping I can't just like teleport there to check Oh well, damn I'm picking up a lot of humanities. I was thinking of getting my Estes up to plus 15, but I don't think it's going to be needed. Anyways, let's do this. This, There's no way this is going to have a twist. Like, Calamite is probably the last boss that needs it. I'm gonna use power within city. The issue is the honest issue is that um, I'm dealing so much damage. Holy fuck! I'm dealing so much damage even without power within. That it's like. It don't even matter, I thought that was gonna hit me. Uh oh. You fucked yourself. God, this thing rips. Yeah, man, like, power within is power within for a reason. How the fuck did that miss? I'd be calling bullshit on that if I was Calamite. Oh fuck, it hit. Damn. I really I really thought I was out of range for that. I really thought. Um, well, my mistake, I guess. My mistake. Yeah, my screw up. Oh well. Normally don't die to this boss, but hey. It's bound to happen once in a while. The more annoying thing is that because they change the position of these dogs, it's like much more difficult to avoid them. Because normally my tactic would be to just not bother. What with this shit? I don't know. Oh fuck, I'm stuck too. Damn. 
Okay, I have the wolf ring. And these things do a lot of damage. Like a weird... Like weirdly a lot of damage. Probably, I like my defense isn't very good. I am not exactly wearing heavy armor here. Peace out. Uh, I mean... I could do an Elizabeth. Right? To counteract the effects of... You know what? We will. We will. I said it weird. We will do an Elizabeth Mushroom. We'll pop one. Oh fuck, you can't. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't know that. Motherfuck. Well. I was dealing 412. Wow, that is a lot less damage. So yeah, uh, that was a mistake. I like legit did not know that you can't use these two spells at the same time. I like buffs. Uh oh. Man, Elizabeth and Mushrooms are buff as hell. Okay, I think it ran out. But it's like, how the fuck am I gonna have the opportunity to use one? Hey, I think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that's all I should have done in the previous attempt, and I would have had him. Damn, it's so OP. I mean, Power Within is one of the most OP spells in the entire game. Like, everybody knows that. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Alright, then. I keep dying like I knew I was screwed there like I knew I was screwed okay so we're back um honestly I had to go and take a little bit of a break because I don't know man I was just something was like not clicking with this calamite fight uh I kept dying to like really stupid little things like rookie mistakes and I was like well what the fuck is going on and, you know, usually when things like these are happening, if I don't just, like, I don't know, stand up, take a five-minute break, get a drink, like water, you know, or, like, get a shot of vodka or anything like that, uh, things usually, you know, improve. So that's what I did. Well, one of the things is that I wanna you know i said this goal to that this will be the final episode and i kind of want to finish if i can i've actually got how is that a hit i've actually got some good games prepared like some good playthroughs that i want to get to uh so You know, you know, like, you know, when you're hyped to start a new playthrough. God, I hate that attack. Double chug. And I know this is risky going for power within. Probably one of the reasons I've died more than usual because normally I don't risk power within for this fight uh, or I tend not to but 
Just I've not been using it a lot. There we go. See? I just know myself. I know myself too well. Taking a tiny break always helps. Ancient blood. What the hell is that? And I got some pyromancy too, didn't I? God, I wish I'd paid more attention. Searing Flux, 24. Interesting. And what is this ancient... Well, I guess it's a... Used to appease the everlasting dragon. Oh, okay. Interesting. So if we went down to... The... To Ash Lake... That's what it would be. What the hell is that? Is it just a weirdly... Uh, it's just a weirdly col colored rock. Yeah, cool. Well, again. Oh, it's a corpse. Okay. I knew, I knew, I knew what I had to do. Anyways. Let's go ahead and level up. I'm kind of curious about this spell if I'm not going to be... If I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't think even with the consumable souls that I have... I don't have enough to get four levels. Maybe if I'd leaned more into the pyromancy and not went for Artorius' great sword, which does take a lot of stats, um, I could have gotten more of the spells, but hey, you know, that's the thing about when you're not going for a specific build. You just. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna have sex again. Oh, and you're just dicking around. It's just the, sometimes the build just turns out the way it does. Thank you. We got the blessings of Mr. Goff. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back into human form here because I think the time has come for the finale. Let's go and take out Lord Gwyn. I got everything. Again, really, the thing that I, I got, there's a couple of things that I didn't get to. There is um, obviously Ash Lake, but from what I've seen in the wiki on this game, Ash Lake is basically unchanged. Aside from, oh fuck, what am I doing? The muscle, god, the muscle memory, sometimes it's just too strong. Just want to warp. Uh, is basically unchanged aside from like the enemies and all, items and all that. I guess the weirdly the only boss that I didn't get to is Gaping Dragon, because Gaping Dragon requires and I didn't read it, uh, but it requires like some specific item apparently for him to be summoned. Uh, and a couple of dream bosses. There's Dream Gwendolyn. But Dream Gwendolyn kind of sucks from what I've seen. It's just a Gwendolyn with quicker attacks, more damaging attacks and more HP. But it's the same fight, it just drags out longer. So... Yeah. Let's go to the finale. Honestly, I, I'm really... Out of the mods I've played of Dark Souls, of the three, so Daughters of Ash, The Binding of Isaac, Clone, and this one, this one is by far my favorite. I feel like this is the only one that like really captured the essence of the Soul series, where I basically agree with 99% of the changes. Really, the only change I do not like, and I talked about it in the previous episode, the only change I do not like is the uh, the health drains. Like, how many areas have 
a mandatory health drain put on them. But other than that, this is definitely a mod I'm going to be playing more of. Uh, I want to explore the miracles, I want to explore the sorceries. And yeah, you know, just playing with my, <laughs> playing with myself, playing by myself as well, um, and not just on like video. So yeah, again, the only thing I can say is GG's to the mod makers with this one, because they really, really did a good job. Cool. Man, that Artorias sword looks badass. Target shield less so, but it's okay. We'll take what we can get. Okay, this works exactly as it does. Um, let's go. I'm mostly curious about the Solaire thing. Whether I actually did do the quest line correctly. I'm pretty sure I did. There's a black knight. Oh, this is a thing. This is a quest line too. Oh, wait a second. Do these black knights not offer up their soul? Because there's the thing to offer the black knight souls to the altar there. And weirdly, I never did receive uh, any like a reward for doing that. Which the only thing I can think of is that what it means is that I'm missing a Black Knight soul. Holy shit. When can you ever break the guard of these guys? I'm curious about Lord Gwyn um, because I have a feeling they're gonna pull some shenanigans, some shenaniganos. Fuck, no Solaire. Goddamn. Oh, oh. Well played, well played. I wasn't expecting that, genuinely. Shit. So Soler is not here. Which means I think I missed talking to him. In Lost Isolith, yeah. Can I go back to Lost Isolith though? Or can I just go to... Let's just check out Gwyn. I think you can complete Solaris stuff, right? You're not locked out of it. But one thing they sure did is they made this run more annoying. So where did that Black Knight come from and ambush me? Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore them. That's just maybe the best option here. You know, I can't remember the last time I fought Gwyn. It's been ages. I and mean, it's been quite long since I've played Dark Souls 1 in general. I have like four of these guys, not well, two of these guys on my ass. I genuinely don't know where this tricky fuck came from. Oh, 
Huh. Well, what the? Oh, well. Maybe there's just like a black knight that spawns behind your ass after you take too long in this area or something. How much do you want to bet it's going to be the parrying thing? I, I can see it. I think it. I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, he's he's not parryable. I can already tell he's not parryable. Let me confirm my suspicion. Let me just confirm it. Okay, so it turns out I am incorrect. He can be parried, apparently. Which just reflects negatively on my parrying abilities. However, the trick is he cannot be reposted, so you know, you're just basically it's New Londo Ruins. Which fucking one is the last eyes? Yes, this is the one. Um Which I guess is okay. But the kind of trade-off there is that his attacks apparently do less damage. Which I did notice. I was going to comment that I thought I was like suddenly armored up or some shit and I was like, what the hell? Okay. Still. I don't want to abandon the Solaire questline. I think... I'm like 99% sure I talked to him at the entrance here. Please don't one shot me. Yeah, because you would do that, wouldn't you? Unless you know what the issue is. You have to summon him. Oh, wait, I did summon. Fuck. I did summon him for, yeah, the boys here. I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's a stupid health drain mechanic here as well. Cool. Slayer. You're gonna be winning with me. Which means we do have to kill all the Black Knights again. So that should be a small price to pay. So as I was kind of saying earlier, um, this mod really is wonderful and this is one mod I will sure be returning to. Honestly, you know my opinions on Daughters of Ash. I thought it did okay in some parts, but towards like the middle to late game, I got really fucking tired of it. Um, it really did feel sometimes like they were making changes for the sake of making changes. The binding of Lord another yeah, the binding of Lordran was fun. But that's just fun, you know. That's like that's like the Dark Souls 3 mod that puts like guns into the game or something. You know, just like messing around kind of thing. I thought the idea was neat that stupid uh sped up enemy mechanic was pretty bullshit, but without it the game would have been like way too, like way too easy. Every run would have been a breeze. And I saw that they added that mechanic because they had trouble kind of balancing things. I mean, how do you put in a boss? I'm on the lookout. Where the fuck do you come from? So yeah, you know, how do you put in a late game boss? 
and make it do you know just like how do you balance it in general and I saw that they had trouble with that sometimes but you know that's like the constraints when it's this is not a roguelike like Binding of Isaac was built from the ground up to be a roguelike and everything is balanced on oh shit don't we already have a pendant But even in Binding of Isaac, sometimes you can get, like, some bullshit, you know? Like, haunt on floor one with, like, some shitty item. So I thought that, like, one of the things was that Binding of Lordran was almost too easy in many places. Unless you, like, made it artificially more difficult. There were ways to do that. But, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose. I haven't fought Gwen with Solaire in so long. That's another thing that... It feels, it feels wholesome, you know. What up, Solaire? My man. But again, this mod, I think it struck all the right chords. And listen, if you have a PC and if you have prepared it, uh, not prepared it, the remaster, I think this might even be available in the non remaster version. Don't quote me on this, but I think I saw something. God damn. Solaire, my man. Oh shit, Solaire. Is he also more difficult to stun lock? I think he is. No, maybe not. Is this elderly abuse? I think it might be. Thank you. Easy as fuck. I mean, with Solaire, it is even if you're not playing the mod, like this becomes very, very easy. Oh shit! What? What the fuck are you talking about? How am I the Dark Lord, bitch? Hold on. That was my... <laughs> no. I just realized... I just realized... Oh, thanks, Solaire. That that was my HP bar. I was the boss. Damn. That was awesome. That was awesome. Holy shit. That that part made it hella worth it. Oh, that was so good. Weirdly, he called me the Dark Lord. Which, well, now that he said that, I'm sure as hell be gonna become the Dark Lord. With Artorius' great sword. That was awesome that my fucking HP was the boss bar. God, I hate how these things look. Thank fuck they never brought these things back. Except for like statues. This character looks so dumb. But then again, which Dark Souls character doesn't? This fucking bonfire. Okay. That's the bonfire that warps you out of there. 
Um, woof. That was my dog doing the woof. Oh shit. Taking trinket. It puts you back. That's cool. That's cool. Like uh, fucking all the other games. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, I'm so close. 50k. You know what? That's gonna be yeah, begin a new journey. I thought so. That's going to be the kind of swan song to this episode. Let's check out that fucking pyromancy spell. I feel like I need to. And this is cool because then I can like look at the dream bosses and all that off screen and something. Maybe I just I'll just start a new character. God, I am bad at navigating the menus. But why? Pourquoi? Yeah, this is gonna anticlimactic, I know. That I'm just like dicking around in the inventory. But I need to see this. Meltdown. I can't not think of Final Fantasy VIII when I see the word meltdown. There better be some good shit. Okay, it's like a little shotgun blast. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's cool. That is a cool spell. Wait, does it do damage to you or something? It do. But if you use... No, it does damage regardless. That is a badass spell. <laughs> Alright, well, that was worth it. Um... But with that, boys, I think we have officially come to the conclusion of this playthrough. I, again, can't say enough nice things about this mod. Um, oh, fuck, it has range, too. Holy shit, I thought this didn't have range, but it do. That, this is a cool spell. It's fast as fuck, too. It's really, really, this is really cool. Holy shit, I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. Well, that was that was hella worth it. Yeah, this 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 was awesome. I had a really good time during this playthrough. I enjoyed this mod end to end. Hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the comments you left. Continuing to support me and all that throughout this playthrough and everything truly appreciate you guys but the time has come to wrap it up here so i'm gonna go ahead and do just that as always like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video uh stay tuned for more because there's definitely some more things coming some videos that i'm games that i'm like really looking forward to until then as always turn on post notifications as well take care guys and peace out see you